Yeah, Jerron, what are some of the issues y'all face uh, with the Panther offense? With they got a new quarterback mm -hmm. now, new mm -hmm. OC. Uh -huh. uh, they did run it a lot last yeah. time against the guys. Like you said, uh, the last time we played, uh, I think they had, what, 40 runs for uh, 47, 200-something 200, 200 yards. Yeah, so uh, obviously we know uh, stopping the run is going to be big. Um, we got one on first and second down because uh, when we just look at the game last time, you know, they was getting five, six, seven on first down and then put them in, you know, second and three or four. And then, you know, they're in like 31 and 32. And just, and even at certain instances, they was in second and one and second and two. And it just, it puts you in a tough spot as a defense, you know, trying to, uh, trying to defend two yards. So we just know we got to be better on first and second down, defending the run and uh, give ourselves the chance, you know, to go out there and play good football. And the key to stop is Cam in the red zone. He's mm -hmm. back, he's got three touchdowns, so you know once they get down there, yeah. he's going to take a try to get in there. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we haven't got the red area yet, but obviously we all know, um, you know, Cam has been a productive player um, in the red area just because his legs and he's big and he's strong. So we know uh, one of the easiest ways for them to score in the red area is just to give Cam the ball and just, you know, let him uh, plow forward and, and try to run through arm tackles. But um, like you said, that's going to be a challenge for us, and, and we'll get there uh, and start worrying about that on Friday. Oh, it doesn't feel good, i tell you that. Um, just because, you know, we pride ourselves on, on stopping the run, and we've been pretty good against the run um, all year, but... Like I said, when you think about it, you put in perspective, you know, you go 47, uh, 47 rushes for 200 and some yards, you know, and they end up averaging, I think it's like three point something. So, I mean, you're like, yeah, it's under four, but like I said, when they're getting five and six on, you know, on first down and second down, like just, it puts you in a tough spot and you can feel it. You can feel it as a defense when, a, when an offense rushes for uh, 200 yards and it, it usually doesn't correlate to winning. Uh-huh. Just you're like on the shoulder show, or like what do mm -hmm. you do? Like is there does that happen when a team's so committed to that, whether it's the mm -hmm. Carolina Dickey all or uh -huh. even what you know, New England I know, well, team did? Yeah, for sure. I think well the thing is, you know, you don't ever want to look around and be like, Man, what the hell is going on? But you wanna to try to all right, say, all right, what can we do to stop? And that's when you go to the sideline and you try to look to uh to make adjustments and I think toward the end of the game when we played the Panthers, um kind of got out of too high and went to some um, one high looks and, and it gave us uh, more success at the end of the game. Coach uh, has kind of made it pretty clear that this is a big game yep. coming up. Does it have a big game feel week or do you mm -hmm. have to prevent that from happening? Mm -hmm. How do you evaluate the, 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 the higher stakes maybe of getting another win? I mean, like you said, it is a big week. And um, anybody who knows football and knows the position that we're in and the position that the Panthers are in, um, know the, the the amount of influence this game have on both teams. Um, it's December. Um, we all play to try to get the opportunity, you know, to go um, to the playoffs and, and, and get rewarded and uh, playing into January. And you know, this this game is going to have big implications on that. So um, we know that um, our focus, um, our intention, um, has to dial up a notch. Um, just because just the position that we're in and, and we understand that we know that but um, our play has to replicate that as well is it, is it good to embrace that that, that it is a big game some people say well, we, we don't want to make it a big game oh i i think so i mean because it's just um it should raise your level of intensity and focus um to just know that you know there's a lot riding on this game um it's no time for, you know, all my bads or my faults. Um, it's get the job done at all costs. And uh, we know that um, that message is being preached. And uh, and it's our job as players to go out there and make sure we play that way. Well, I'm not bored. You talk about down the distance. I think some of people like to understand like, the difference of the defense and the run. Mm -hmm. like, how important is it from a play call standpoint and a player standpoint mm -hmm. to make sure you keep the offense behind the Oh, very important because <laughs> what type of defense, it's, it's hard to call a defense that a stop, you know, a second and one, and a second and two, or a third and two, like it's just, it's too much. You know, they only have to go two yards, they can run, they can pet, like, you know, a check down is a first down when you talk about, you know, third and one and third and two. So it's always, 
imperative, and we talk about it each week, just staying above the sticks, you know. Don't let them get in second and manageable, you know. Try to win first down. Like, that's very important this week. Winning first down. Don't let them get the second and three and second and four. Make them get the second and nine, second and ten, so that, you know, we put them in a bind to be like, all right, well, what are you going to do now? Are you going to pass the ball or are you going to run the ball? But either way, our, our, our dean will be in a position where he can feel comfortable to call something that put us in a position to win second down. And um, you've been, a, been in the league for a long time, man, a veteran. Like, just from an in-game standpoint, I know a lot of times, you know, when you see a lot of teams where Tom Brady was throwing a lot of underneath stuff, check down and everything. Like, what has been your, your experience has been as far as when you make that adjustment, say, basically going, maybe going from playing zone to maybe mm -hmm. going to man, like, before you get to halftime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how, what is it, your experience being with that, just – how like how soon a coach mm -hmm. may make that make that particular judgment? I think it just kind of depends on like like you said like how the game's going. You know, sometimes it's it's not bad. You know, when you're you're forcing the quarterback to make uh, check down after check down. You know, sometimes that's good. You know, because you, you don't want to give up the big play. And sometimes you know they drive it check down check down. But then you know you get in the red area and it's like all right well can you check down now because everybody's closer to the line of scrimmage. So now you have to you know make those throws. And sometimes quarterbacks. Are just not patient enough to go check down to check down to check down. You know they get they get nosy and they're like, nah, I need to find a big play. And then they're sitting there, they're patting the ball, holding it. Then you know a, a force or error throw. So I think it just kind of depends on the situation. There's times where you know we want to go too high, you know, and like I said, it's good for us. But then there's times where we want to go single high, where we might need to stack that box, get them runs going, and then try to force them to throw everything outside. Uh, well, I think the main thing is we got to get them in positions to be able to rush to, you know, um, to create those opportunities for our D-line to rush and create those havocs. Like I said, winning on first down, you know, making sure that, you know, when the quarterback's in third and down, it's not third and three or third and four, you know, it's third and eight where the D-line can really pin their ears back, you know, and go, you know. So I think it all uh, boils down to just playing a little bit better team defense, winning first and second down, and then give us the opportunity to rush the quarterback when we got the chance. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the offense is just a little different just based off the quarterback now um, and also based off, you know, McCaffrey. Now, obviously, we didn't um, play McCaffrey the first time, but the offense is just – it's different when he's out there and when he's not out there. And it's different when, you know, Sam Darnold and McCaffrey aren't out there. So, I just think the thing that they really want to do and, you know, the coaches talked about it, rules talked about it um, for the last couple of weeks is they want to run the ball. You know, they want to run the ball 30 to 33 times a game. So, um Got to put our big boy pads on, get ready for the run. Nah, no, nah, yeah, nah. But like, he's a running back coach. He wants to run the ball. Like, it's it's that simple. It's come from you know, it's from top bottom. Like, you know, the coach rule has said it over and over and over again. They want to run the football. They want to control the clock. They want to win. You know, running the ball and playing good defense. So. Um, he might not have no, you know, experience as an NFL play caller, but I mean, the message is clear. I, we know what they want to do. They know what they want to do. It's just going to be, you know, who's going to stop the other person. Can you, in terms of, you face some like first time coordinators, mm -hmm. like first game coordinators? Uh, like, what, what's that? I mean, you lived here yeah. last year a little. Yeah, of, for sure. Yeah. What, what's that like that week? Well, I think that they, well, it's, it's different. It just kind of depends on when you're playing them, you know, because even though he's a you know first time coordinator, they're not going to switch their their offense in the middle, you know, of the season. So um, he might have a little wrinkle here and there, or it might be you know he might have different tendencies about how many times he wants to run the ball. But the offense is going to be the same. It's just going to be maybe a difference of how he calls the plays. Is there, is there more of an advantage of playing a guy in his first week doing that, or like week two or three where there's tape versus the yeah. So they made this change Sunday, so it's yeah. not like they had two weeks, you know, everything exactly. kind of on the fly. Yeah, for sure. Like you said, I mean, um, it might help if you have a couple of weeks, but I mean, at the end of the day, we don't have a couple of weeks. We got the opportunity right now, and like I said, we're going to bank our hat on knowing that they want to run the ball, and we're going to have to force them to do something else. Awesome. Thanks, Jerome. All right, guys. Thank have you. a good one.